friends, I'm Wani and welcome to Wani's house. Do you have an area in your kitchen or in your home that looks like this? This is like our drop zone. This little corner in my kitchen gets so much unnecessary use. It is where when the mail comes in, it get it. we open it and it lands right there in that stack. I have this bowl here that I um, usually is where I put my keys and you see these scissors are here. So guys, today I am going to create a mail zone and we're going to organize this mail and any mail that we don't need anymore, we're going to get rid of it. Okay, so I have these little feet here that I purchased from um, Hobby Lobby. I'm going to spray paint them because I want them to be this real pretty copper color because it's going into my kitchen area. I have this file sorter I shared with you in a previous video. And I have my um, spray painted feet for our file sorter. I have our E6000 as well as a hot glue sticks and a hot glue gun. And we have these pill and stick letters. The next steps are pretty much self-explanatory. We're going to attach the feet to the bottom of this file sorter. First, I'm going to um, put liberally the E6000 all over the bottom of the feet and in the corners. And then I'm going to come back with the hot glue. And so the hot glue is going to um, cause a, um, an instant bond. And then the E6000 is going to make our bond permanent. So um, everything will. So now we're adding our pill and stick letters. You can get any type of font you would like. This came from um, Michaels and I love the script font. So you'll see me use that a lot. And you can just pill and stick whatever words you want on here. This would be great for our office. As you see, I'm using it in my kitchen. You can even use this as your guest bedroom, a caddy for your guests with all the pertinent information they may need. So as far as places to go, places to eat, um, your internet password, that'll be really cute. In the front of my mail sorter, I have mail. Then I have in, paid, and then shred. This has really worked out pretty well for us. When the, I get the mail, I open it, or if there's mail specifically for Mr. B, it goes in the end. The ones that it goes to things that need to be paid, once it's paid, I put it in the shred, then I shred it, and it's gone. So I can say that this has worked for us, crossing my fingers that it continues to do so. So guys, I just wanted to share this really simple DIY that I created to bring some organization into our mail drop zone. Since that seems to be the place where the mail just happens to go. And I just wanted to make it more functional for this space and to beautify the area. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. If you are new to Wani's house, I would love for you to subscribe. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit that um, notification bell so that you will be notified of when I release new videos. So guys, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video. But before I go, you know what I always say, the next time you're in town, you can always stop by Wani's house and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.